This is MFR Off-Road Rider back with another video heading out uh, towards uh, Honeydew Petrolia through through the redwoods here uh, there's a couple uh, campgrounds and stuff they're closed for the winter but uh, it's pretty scenic uh, let's go check it out this is uh, just off the 101 uh, yeah it's a Humboldt Redwood State Park This road comes out in Honeydew, California. Uh, yeah, it's Bull Creek. A uh, bunch of different uh, campgrounds through here. Uh, it's pretty scenic. The road's kind of narrow and tight, but it's really scenic. It gets really crowded in the summertime because it stays kind of cool down in here. It's kind of like uh, Avenue of the Giants, you know, except uh, it's a little bit narrower, you know, that you see there's no lines on the road because it's so narrow. But yeah, it's really scenic. We just call it Bull Creek, you know, if you're getting off the highway, uh, everybody just kind of calls it Bull Creek. Pretty scenic though. Anyway, I'm still on the KTM 1090, putting some miles on it. Uh, I could be riding the Harley, but like I said, I'm pretty much stuck on asphalt, you know, I can't really stray off the the main road you know with this thing I can you know find a dirt road or something and head on up it or whatever you know so so yeah I used to come out here in uh, in the summertime when I was a kid used to swim down here it's called a place called Women's Federated Grove uh, and we used to take a lot of field trips uh, when I was in school, grade school. Good place to swim, except in the lit later part of the summer because uh, we get this uh, stuff called blue-green algae and, and uh, it's kind of nasty stuff that floats around in the water in the summertime when the water slows down, you know, it doesn't flow as fast and uh, it's kind of nasty. And you're swimming around and get that algae on you. It's, it's pretty slimy stuff. I used to come up this way with a uh, semi tractor and trailer and yeah, it's uh, pretty hairball going up through here when in the summertime when there's a lot of traffic. You meet, you know, you meet a, a motorhome or a pickup pulling a big fifth wheel trailer, and you got to look way ahead, you know, because there's some places where you can't pass two big two big vehicles side by side, so you have to kind of be cautious. Uh, my visor's steaming up again. Yeah, there's a lot of good swimming holes up here. Park and walk down to the river. Stays pretty cool. You know, it's, it's, 
stays a lot cooler in the summertime when it's you know 90 to 100 degrees it stays pretty cool in the shade on this road and then some of the picnic areas and day use and campgrounds Yeah, we kind of take it for granted, you know, the, the redwoods and stuff living around here, you know, a lot of people see this for the first time, you know, they're like pretty amazed, you know, some of the size of the trees and stuff. Of course, you can't cut down the old growth redwood anymore. So got a lot of huge trees that are dying and stuff like that, but You got people driving too fast and cutting corners Yeah, you get you get uh, you get people uh, from other areas. You know, like I watch some YouTube videos and see some guys riding in their area, and I was like, man, I wish we had that around here. You know, like some open trails, some desert. You know, to ride on and open open dirt roads. You know, no fences, no gates. And then other people watch, you know, my video or whatever, and say, wow, that's that's cool. You know, like the, all the big redwood trees and things like that, you know. That's only one thing bad about this uh, gripper GoPro mount for me on this helmet is my vi or my uh, vent is right in the front, and then I ha I have to close the vent in order to uh, make the mount the mount stay you know nice and solid, and not move around. So it'd probably be you know better if you had a helmet without the big open vent on the front because I think my visor 
steams up faster because I have to keep the vent closed. But I really like this helmet. It's a Scorpion AT950 Adventure helmet. It's got the visor on it. I really like it. It's modular too. I love the modular. I won't have a Adventure helmet that's not modular because it's so much nicer, you know, be able to just open it up, take a drink, or eat something without having to take your helmet off. That's what I like the most about the modular helmets. I mean, they're not for everybody, but I sure like them. They're really convenient. A lot of times we'll stop for, you know, five or ten minutes, and all I do is open my visor, you know, my helmet up, and uh, can eat, talk, drink, you know, without having to take my helmet off. about out of the redwoods out of the park now now we are all right that's gonna end this video uh, if you like my uh, videos give me a big thumbs up if you want to subscribe that'd be great too thanks a lot for viewing my videos and subscribing until the next video, this is MFR Off-Road Rider. Y'all take care. Later.